Hey there, Trader Sean Kuzak tuning in again with NSTA, and you know what time it is, we create winning traders. In this week's episode of Money Mondays, I'm gonna be breaking down the three pillars of how to build a successful trading plan. Now, if you're new to Money Mondays, each week, Neural Street Trading Academy puts on a weekly trading TV series that breaks down all things trading. What we'd like for you to do is if you could click the subscribe button, that way it'll help our channel grow, turn the notification bells on so that way next time we put a video out like this, you'll get notified quickly and that way we can see you on the inside. All right, traders, welcome back. So this is a really important Money Mondays because one of the most important parts of trader development is putting together a trading business plan. Now, if you own a restaurant or if you're a real estate investor, or if you own a company or if you're trying to seek raising capital for an entrepreneurship endeavor that you're participating in, no matter what you're doing in business, you need a business plan. More so in trading, it's so much more important because trading is one of the most difficult industries to be successful. And most importantly, it's the business plan that a lot of traders don't realize is the real reason they succeed. So one of the things we do at the school is we put traders through a program where they come in and they learn the education in live markets, they learn the videos and the training on an online membership site, and then we put together an action plan which gives them templates so that you can build your own trading plan. Now the reason this is so, such an important topic is because every trader is different. So there's no one business plan that fits all, right? A business plan for me will be a business plan different for you, next to the next guy, et cetera. And the reason for that is everybody has different size accounts, everybody has different size skill sets, and a lot of times you'll be trading a different market or you might be a trend trader where the next guy's a reversal trader and so forth, right? So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna map out the three pillars of what I consider to be the most successful uh, infrastructure of building a good trading plan, okay? So pillar number one is essentially the business plan. You need to get your business right, okay? There's no cutting corners here. You need to get a handle on your actual business structure. So a couple things I think are important to put in this section of your business plan is your why, right? A strong business has a strong why, a true purpose behind what they're doing. You should couple that with a good mission and a vision statement. And then a lot of times traders will identify the style of trader that they are in this section of the plan. If you're gonna set up a corporation to trade in, uh, a lot of times traders that'll wanna take advantage of tax benefits and stuff will uh, operate an account under a company rather than say trading your personal account. It really just depends on how you wanna set up your corporate structure. And then you wanna make sure you list out your equipment, right? What type of computers are you using, the hardware, the software, all of that stuff. And another thing that's equally important is your business hours, right? Some traders are trading the US session, some traders are trading the European session, some traders are trading both, right? And you know, any good business knows their hours of operation, right? Because then you build a routine, you get up, you treat trading like a business, because it is, and that way you can structure your time and your daily schedule around that. Now you wanna make sure you map out the markets that you're trading. And one of the biggest things is understanding your capital and the margin rates that you're gonna be using with the broker, right? So if you're somebody that's trading as an intraday trader, you'll have different margins, they say someone that's swing trading or holding positions overnight. So th that's all really important stuff because it kind of gets you organized as a trader and it helps you kind of put together an action plan or a business plan that allows you to move into the action plan. Okay, so pillar number two is what I call the main pillar, okay? And the main pillar is essentially how you make money, right? Trading, you could have all of this stuff mapped out, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be a profitable trader. So the action plan is exactly why Neural Street Trading Academy exists. Our job is to help you create the most effective action plan possible. And the reason this is important is because you're gonna need to have your risk models map out, the strategy that you're trading, the process to finding and executing trades, the rules for your indicators and your trading setups, the drawdown and the money management that is required for you to make sure you protect your account, and then making sure that you're involved in a good community that has a solid backbone of education. 
right? There's nothing worse than being a trader that's alone and you're, you're at the, the result of your own demise, so to speak. And that's one of the reasons why we built such a huge community is because even though traders have all of this locked down, they still want to be a part of other people that are doing it with them so that they don't feel alone and they can actually succeed in numbers, okay? Now, it's really important that you map out your business plan, you map out your action plan. Now it's time to go to work. Now it's time to go make money. But one of the biggest downfalls is that everybody gets their business plan right, everybody spends time learning their action plan, and then they never work on themselves, okay? So pillar number three is what I consider the self-development plan. And this is where we look at your personal strengths and weaknesses, as well as your trading strengths and weaknesses. Because, you know, I'll give you an example. You might be someone that identifies as an impulsive person naturally. Well, that also might mean you're an impulsive trader, so you need to work on your discipline, right? Or you might be somebody that has no problem executing quickly because you really have no problem making decisions fast. That can be really good for speed of execution. That could be a strength, right? So these are things that I always tell traders to separate personal and trading strengths and weaknesses because we want to be able to evaluate that. What are you going to do to fix the things you need to fix? And then what are you prepared to do to throttle the things that you're really good at, right? We all have strengths and we all have weaknesses. You just need to identify them so that you can be the best trader you can be. Now, business evaluation is about how are you evaluating your business? Are you evaluating your business on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a quarterly basis, right? How are you evaluating yourself? Are you actually succeeding? Are you hitting your targets? Are you reaching your objectives, right? One of the biggest reasons traders do that is because they work on trader psychology and also cognitive training. We'll talk about psychology first, right? Trader psychology is something where you manage yourself in and out of trades, right? The need to take trades, the fear of missing out, the greed, the anticipation, the regret, all the stuff that goes into active trading. Most traders will try to focus on it first. I think that's not important. I think you need to learn what you're doing and then master yourself in doing it. Okay, now cognitive training is unique to us because we're actually the flagship school that brought cognitive training into the financial markets. What we do is we use a cognitive training software solution that allows traders to train their brain for cognitive strength. And we're looking at screens and we're looking at indicators and we're trying to process lots of data just like military or professional athletes or even astronauts, right? You're always trying to process things. So what we do is we, we partnered with a company that does cognitive training and we we actually have a cognitive training program that helps traders become the best you know, traders that are alert, focused, and have good attention spans when executing trading decisions, right? Now, I think it's equally important to have a good work-life balance around fitness, right? You need to eat healthy, sleep regularly, make sure your routine is in, routine is in check, get the blood flow going, do yoga, stretch, have good ergonomics in your desk, whatever the case may be, don't get lazy, don't get complacent. Fitness is the crux of a healthy trader, okay? Now, routine, super important. Trading is a business, Wall Street's operating. Every day, the money's moving from country to country, from capital bank to capital bank, right? So you don't get organized with a routine, you're gonna get left behind. The market's open at specific times, you need to be ready pre-market, you need to have your computers up and loaded, you need to have your process down, Pratt. that's why every day what we do is we do a pre-market routine before we run our trading room. It gets everybody in the routine, helps everybody become aware, helps everybody execute more effectively, okay? And the last one here, which I think is save the best for last, you need to have a coach or a mentor. You need to be involved with people that can help you become the best you can be. If we're done learning, we might as well just give up on life, right? You always need to be moving forward. There's always better ways to do things. There's always better ways to improve, right? If you're a profitable trader, how can you become a more profitable trader? If you're a struggling trader, how do you become a profitable trader, right? That's what we do. We help traders like you succeed. Make money, manage risk, manage yourself, have a business plan, and trade effectively, okay? So kind of sum all this up. You need to build a business plan, an action plan, and a self development plan. 
If you're in our trading room and you're a part of our trade room programs, we actually have templates where you can download and you can fill all this out. We allow that, you can use it as a guideline and you can sub in all your own content and you can adjust your plan accordingly as you need to, right? So what I encourage you to do is down below this video, there's an opportunity for you to sign up for a guest pass to our trading room. What's nice about the guest pass, you come in, you can watch me trade. You're gonna see me put my business plan, action plan and self-development plan into live markets. And if you're interested in looking at our performance, we can get you the links on our trade performance or the trade room. And more importantly, you'll be able to come in and learn how to trade with us and download the templates so that you can build a proper trading plan for your business. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Money Mondays. Super important topic. You're important. We want you to succeed. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the live markets.